쉽게 살수 있는 가장 저렴하고 만난 화이트 와인은 뭘까요? 12병의 가장 저렴한 화이트 와인을 사봤습니다. 가격이 무려 3,000원부터 시작하고 월마트, 타겟, 엘디, 번스라는 가장 인지도 높은 4개의 슈퍼마켓에서 구매했죠. 평균 구매가는 5,000원입니다. 딱한개 빼고는 전부 6,000원 미만이었거든요. 그 중에서 최고의 화이트 와인과 최악의 화이트 와인을 알려드리겠습니다. 깜짝 놀랄 정도로 좋은 와인도 있지만 역겨울 정도로 후진 와인도 이 중에 있답니다. 그럼 어떤 와인들인지 같이 한번 살펴볼까요? I bought 12 bottles of white wines. 12? Yeah. You said we were going to do 8. <웃음> well, the more the merrier. <웃음> exactly. And I bought them from very big supermarkets. I try to buy white wines as uh, cheap as possible. <laughs> <laughs> I now know what he means when he says he has a very special experience planned for me today. <laughs> he forgets I'm the wine guy, not the non-wine guy. <laughs> They're wines. <laughs> okay. We do it blind. Sure. I try to choose rather famous grape varieties, okay. which are Sauvignon Blanc and Chardonnay. And uh, some other uh, grape varieties like uh, Pinot Grigio and uh, one uh, sweet wine for the last one. Okay. Wine. And we do them in flats. You said 12. Yeah. So three flats of four. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want some help? Mainly screw tops. No. Just one screw top. It's amazing that the really cheap ones are cork mm -hmm. and all the moderately priced ones are screw cap. It must mean that cork is cheaper than screw cap or it's a marketing thing. I heard from some producers uh, these days, uh, cheap uh, cork is as much expensive as a uh, screw cap. What it really tells me is that outside of some kind of marketing idea, mm -hmm. what it says is that uh, screw caps slightly more expensive than the cheapest cork. Cork in the generic term, making a, meaning a cork-like closure, not necessarily cork. These were interesting. From a certain perspective, mm -hmm. last week when we tasted the reds, mm -hmm. there were so many concoctions there. Mm -hmm. Recipe wine making, really in many instances, maybe appealing to consumers, but not teaching them mm -hmm. anything about wine. Mm -hmm. These are for the most part uh, less manipulated because you don't really want to mess around too much with oak or oak essence or staves or chips or whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. And so what these wines suffer from is Dilution, meaning that the varietal character mm -hmm. is not very evident. Mm -hmm. And you have to work very, very hard to get the varietal character, although all of these are drinkable. Only one of which I would be prepared to drink a full glass, mm -hmm. but, they're, but they're all drinkable. Which one is it? Number two. Number two. Yeah. It took me a long time on the first one to, to try and figure out what it was. It was very faintly coming through mm -hmm. uh, that it was uh, Sauvignon Blanc mm -hmm. from the New World. In the context of the fact that you had told me that these are really low price wines. Mm -hmm. All under $7 and that one, which is close to $7, is extremely expensive. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's Oak Leaf. Oak Leaf Sauvignon Blanc. Oh, it's from Southeastern Australia. I must say, the Australians are absolutely the world's experts mm -hmm. in engineering of wine. They know the price point they're trying to hit. Mm -hmm. They know the taste profile they want to hit. Mm -hmm. And so they hone in on exactly where the grapes should come from, mm -hmm. where you can find the taste profile that they're looking for at the price they need. The Australians are better than that, in my experience, than anybody else. They're a genius. <laughs> Australian guys. Genius. Genius. <laughs> <laughs> What's the price? Uh, 276. 276. Yeah. From uh, Walmart. Second one. <laughs> it's another Sauvignon Blanc. Flirty bird. Terrible. <laughs> Did you pick up any Sauvignon Blanc character? Not really. Not really. That was really bad. I mean, as a wine, uh -huh. it's nice. But as a Sauvignon Blanc, Sauvignon Blanc is literally the most identifiable of the white wine grapes. It's very aromatic, but it doesn't Yes, there's add. something else there. Number three. I thought this was the best wine of the flight. 
Uh-huh. Very obviously Sauvignon Blanc to me. I really agree with you. Oh, yeah. good for you. <laughs> this one is uh, quite good. Very much the best wine of the flight. Quite a bit full-bodied, which I didn't expect. But I thought it was very decent. It's labeled Sauvignon Blanc. It uh, smells and tastes like Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, that wine's worth more than the other two, so I would expect it to be more expensive. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? California Roots Sauvignon Blanc. California Roots Sauvignon Blanc. I think this is really well made. It yeah. is very clearly Sauvignon Blanc. It's uh, $5. $5, okay. It's certainly worth more money than the other two. Target. Best so far. Yeah, getting excited. <laughs> <laughs> then number four. There's zero color. Pinot Grigio, mm. not Chardonnay. It is so dilute from a varietal character. Quail oak Pinot Grigio. So it was Pinot Colombard. Grigio Colombard. There is a 49% of Colombard. So Colombard is very cheap. Mm -hmm. So that's how they can make wines at, at this kind of price. I didn't tell you about the prices. Oh, I'm sure it's cheap. <laughs> Why do you think so? Because there's nothing there. How much is it? Four ninety nine. Really? With a club price, it's uh, three thirty two. Walmart Sauvignon Blanc mm -hmm. from Australia mm -hmm. for two seventy six is a better one. I think so too. So I put this bottle away from you. <laughs> Here in America, it's called French Colombard. French Colombard? Here? Yeah. Colombard is from uh, France. It's French. It's yeah, but variety. we call it French Colombard. <laughs> in America, we call it French Colombard. <laughs> As if there was something else, which I'm not sure. <laughs> you see uh, these corks? Yeah. They're, none of them are cork. Uh -huh. They're all plastic. Yeah. I remember when they first came out. The alternative uh, closures to cork, they were terrible. They were so bad. It was a cure for cork taint. And those initial plastic corks were so bad that the cure was worse than the disease. <laughs> they didn't seal properly. All the wines oxidized. Oh, really? Then they came out with something else. Instead of making the, the wines, closing the wines with cork, mm -hmm. they were closing the wines with sort of cork dust, an agglomeration of cork. Uh -huh. that bits and tiny pieces of cork that had been supposedly treated uh -huh. and then put together again and put into the bottle. Mm -hmm. So that way, instead of having one or two percent, four percent, five percent of the bottles cooked, you had a hundred percent of the bottles very slightly cooked. It was terrible. Really? <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> Are you guys hot now? <laughs> oh, wait, Patrick, <laughs> you must gladden your heart here. The, the number four for Patrick. Please. Number four? Number four for Patrick. Okay. I hide the bottle. <laughs> it's okay. Nice acid, no oak, no mallow. No, nothing. Anyone has it any guesses as to what might be in there? Really crisp acidity. Columbard. Yeah. I am the master of wine, by the way. <laughs> hey, when you're winning, it's time to leave. Time move. to leave, exactly. <laughs> okay. Cheers. Pretty dreary flight, mainly Chardonnay, if not all. Mm -hmm. um, concocted wines, for the most part, all with various levels of residual sugar. The first one, my least favorite. Lots and lots of oak or oak chips or oak essences. Sweet entry, very short. I think one can do a lot better even at low prices, at least for me. Mm. I thought it was a California Chardonnay, but really not very good at all. I agree with you. No, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm not happy with the wine. Burwood uh, Chardonnay. Burwood California Chardonnay. The price? Three ninety nine from Aldi. It's too much what they want you to believe is oak and Mm. It's too sweet, and then it finishes too short. Next, it was slightly better, quite Chardonnay, somewhat less concocted than the first one. This one is my favorite. It's your favorite? Yeah. It's Beringer. Beringer Main and Vine. It was better than the previous one. It's a four ninety nine from uh, Target, number um, seven. I uh -huh. thought this one was the best. Ripe fruit on the nose, like mango, papaya, mm -hmm. wood on the nose, and but not that much. Mm -hmm. Swedish entry again, full bodied. Very short on the finish, quite bland, mm -hmm. but in the end, 
slightly higher quality than anything else in this flight. For me, it's very bland. It is bland, but if you go back to it, which mm -hmm. I did, mm -hmm. there's a little bit more there. You can find uh, some characteristic of Chardonnay here. Right? Chardonnay is a very interesting grape. How Chardonnay interesting? does not have character. That's why it's interesting, by the way. Chardonnay is a characterless grape. If you leave Chardonnay to its own devices, it gets to, to have grapefruit characteristics, lemony characteristics. Chardonnay is a winemaker's grape, particularly mm. a New World winemaker's grape. Because you get to take it in there and you give it malolactic fermentation, or barrel fermentation, and then you age it in the barrel. And a lot of the ways that Chardonnay projects are the characteristics that are inculcated into Chardonnay by the way you make the wine. Mm -hmm. That having been said, Chardonnay is an excellent canvas. That's almost a hit against myself because the best Chardonnays in the world for me are actually the unoaked ones that come from Chablis. Mm -hmm. And they are highly identifiable. So, Peter, you're full of it. Mm. How can it be highly identifiable and then bland and mm -hmm. lacking in character? Well, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I just know that, generally speaking, Chardonnay needs work. It doesn't have, for example, the inherent varietal characteristics that are so obvious like a Sauvignon Blanc. But anyway, that's such a long story, by the way, <laughs> for, a non for a very low price wine. <laughs> It's not new to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to it. <laughs> <laughs> you said uh, full of it, right? Full of it. Does it mean uh, full of shit? Oh, you said it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> How can you talk like that? <laughs> yes, that's what I meant. The seventh one. Barefoot, barefoot again. Chardonnay. You know, barefoot is gala. They've literally got their choices of sources. Mm -hmm. A richness in terms of sources from where to, to get their fruit mm -hmm. that no other company in the entire world has. And they do a good job. You've got to hand it to them. It's true. I'm impressed. $4.99 from uh, Target, number That's eight. That's something really weird, like an artificial musket character. It's poor. It almost uh, tastes like uh, water. It's so uh, much uh, diluted. Uh, I, I didn't realize you loved the wine. <laughs> you rarely drink water. Peter? Yeah, but when I do, it tastes better than that. <laughs> okay, it tastes like uh, bad water. <laughs> I don't know what they've done. I'd love to see how they made the wine to know where that artificial character came from. Forestville. Forestville. Chardonnay, four forty-nine. Plus price, three eighty-eight. It doesn't worth a penny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in the context of these other wines, I'd be hard pushed to recommend that. Mm -hmm. You look much better than uh, we tasted red wines. First of all, I prefer white wine. Mm -hmm. Second of all, when you're drinking low-priced white wine, I prefer less than more. <laughs> Overall, they seem to be slightly better than the very low-priced red wines. Now we come to number nine. Thank God when I go home tonight, I can drink 2013 Brunello di Montalcino Reserva. Why do you drink uh, Brunello di Montalcino Reserva t tonight? Why not? <laughs> How much longer do you think I'm going to live? You think I'm going to live forever? <laughs> I suppose you think I'm going to leave it for you in my will. <laughs> I'm alive. Oh, yeah. Therefore I drink. Not if I drink, therefore I'm alive. No, no, no. I'm alive, <laughs> therefore I drink. Cheers. <laughs> Look at this cheers. Are you kidding? <laughs> I mean, what is the occasion uh, to drink uh, uh, Montalcino? The fact that I have survived these 12 <laughs> cheap wines. <laughs> the fact that I have it open as well doesn't make any difference. <laughs> so, number nine? The quality of the fruit here was a slight step up from what we've seen in terms of the concentration of the fruit. This is my favorite on this flight. In this flight? Yeah. Satterham. Oh, Satterham. Well, we quite enjoyed their cab, didn't we? Yeah. Six and ninety-nine at club price. A four forty-three. Oh, it's a very big difference. Uh huh. Yeah. Too much difference. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. you have to be a member of the club, otherwise it's stupid. Yeah, right. They don't really want to. It's obvious they don't want to sell the wine mm -hmm. at the single bottle price. No. Then uh, number ten. This one I thought was slightly better. Considerable palate authority. Overall, not bad. So is this your favorite? It's my favorite of the Chardonnays. Chateau Saint Michel. The price six seventy-two from uh, Walmart. They definitely did use a better quality of fruit. We're not talking about expensive wine here. There's a slight up 
uptick in the quality of the fruit. A slight difference makes a big difference. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Number 11? 11. Mm -hmm. There's nothing on the nose. A very low varietal character. There's an overall palate complexity. But I find whatever it is that they use for wood here to be too, ob too obtrusive. It's a little bit artificial. Yeah, mm. yeah. Woodbridge. Woodbridge. This is Mandavi, right? Right. So this one is better than the previous red Mandavi. It's true. And the price? Four ninety-eight from Walmart. Numero lost. Mm. This is much sweeter. It's also got a bit of a spritz. Mm -hmm. There's a prickle on the tongue. It's very muscatty. If you had bought something like that, this is what you would be expecting. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't disappoint. Mm -hmm. It's quite uh, pleasant. Moiselle. Moiselle. <laughs> With mouth-watering flavors of juicy peach and apricot. Which is true. Three ninety nine from LD. I don't think you can fight with that. People buying this would have expected this. Mm -hmm. I love this packaging. Beautiful. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> packaging yeah. is horses for courses. Some packaging that I love, mm -hmm. people hate, mm -hmm. and vice versa. I think it's a very boring package. Yeah. Yeah. And you love it, so... Yeah, whenever oh, I... Well, that's because it's uh, the same color as your pajamas. <laughs> this is just a normal t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> when I see this, uh, this label, I just feel good. Why are you admitting really? on TV? Yeah. You spoken to somebody about that? <laughs> so I put this on the table. <laughs> that's fine. All right. Would you select two best ah, okay. and uh, two worst okay. among these vines? Yes, the Roots Sauvignon Blanc. It's exactly the same for me too. Then my second highest score mm -hmm. was the Chateau Saint-Michel. So this California Roots and the Chateau Saint-Michel Chardonnay uh, from are the best. I'm curious about one more thing, because California is so popular in Chardonnay. It's uh, so popular in the world. So if you pick the second best uh, Chardonnay, Next to it's not Chicago California. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> is that what you were going to say? <laughs> oh, okay. If you pick uh, the second best uh, Chardonnay uh, next to Chateau Saint Michel, the uh, next best Chardonnay. Yeah, you're so fussy. <laughs> Barefoot, barefoot, tied mm -hmm. with Sutter Home mm -hmm. and Mondavi. Those three all got my, the same score from me. Barefoot is the most economical. Then barefoot would be the best one. So for Chardonnay, Chateau Saint-Michel Chardonnay and uh, barefoot Chardonnay. Okay. The best. All right. The two lowest scores that I gave, mm -hmm. I think that one's quite easy. <laughs> Forestville Chardonnay. And my second lowest score, Bullwood Chardonnay. So the worst wines, Forestville Chardonnay and uh, Burrow the Chardonnay. Are these uh, really, really bad or just bad? I don't even want to say they're really, really bad or mm. just bad. I just want to say that even in the context of these low prices, mm -hmm. we tasted wines that are way better than these. So there is no reason to buy these wines. Right. There's no reason to buy these wines mm -hmm. given the availability and the prices of many of the others, including our two winners. So in summertime, drink some nice and cheap white wine. <웃음> 이럴 때니 와인 네이버 밴드로 놀러 오시면 와인을 잘 몰라도 편하고 싸게 살수 있는 정보가 많이 올라와 있습니다. 가입하는 게 싫으시면 greatwine.co.kr로 꼭 놀러 오세요.